Hi everyone, and welcome to Bob's Wood Stuff. Today we'll be talking about how the chip breaker on a hand plane works, also known as the cap iron. We'll start by looking at an x-ray view of a hand plane. This piece is the chip breaker, aka the cap iron. It attaches to the plane iron, or blade, with a flathead screw. Let's take a look at what could happen without a chip breaker. The tip of the plane iron acts as a wedge, which splits the grain ahead of the blade. This can cause chip out, resulting in an uneven wood surface. This same phenomenon happens in a similar way when a log is split by an axe. The split in the log goes farther than the front of the blade, following the direction of the grain. Now let's see how it works with a cap iron to act as a chip breaker. As the wood is split by the plain iron, the shaving hits the chip breaker, crumpling the grain. This prevents it from splitting in front of the blade, minimizing chip out and resulting in a smoother surface. To make fine shavings, put the cap iron very close to the tip of the plain iron to the point where there's just a little bit of blade showing under the cap. You will also want to make the mouth of the plane small. Move the frog forward using the frog adjustment screw. This is called longitudinal adjustment. This is the setup you want for a smoothing plane or if you are in a plane shaving contest. For a rough plane to remove a lot of stock, like a jack plane or a scrub plane, you'll want a different setup. Move the cap iron back a bit. Open the mouth by moving the frog back. Lower the blade with the depth adjustment nut. This setup allows for easy removal of a lot of stock, but is not good for fine smoothing. Thanks for watching Bob's Wood Stuff. Stay tuned for more videos about restoring, tuning, and using hand planes.